And certainly one of the, the important things you want to put in your social media policy is that there are people who are authorized to speak on behalf of your institution. And typically that's going to be, if you have a social media staff, your social media staff, or that's going to be your, your public affairs department. And everybody else needs to make it clear that, you know, I'm a, for example, I'm a Mayo Clinic employee, but my Twitter feed says, you know, these are my views, not Mayo Clinics. And so you do want to encourage your employees to create that separation. But on the other hand, you probably can't force your employees to say, to, to hide the fact that they work at your institution, nor can you prohibit them from talking about the institution. A, a blanket prohibition, you can't talk about mm -hmm. the company on social media, is, is clearly illegal under the National Labor Relations Act. So you do have to be careful. You can monitor, you can pay attention, you can guide, and you can educate, but you can't prohibit generally.